Tweedledee and Tweedledum have a plan today. Here's what you can look forward to on today's Nice Guys on Business. Part of my man card may have been revoked because I, I did get a purse, a man purse for my birthday. Oh, from- my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. In honor of Grover. Yes, that sounds like a fucking excellent idea. I like it better without Strickland's name in there. I don't know what it is. It's just automatically a better show. Go from where you are now to where you could be. Get expert tips to grow your business, to be more productive and more efficient. Whether you're trying to build influence, grow your community, or make it rain. Best-selling author of Nice Guys Finish First, Doug Sandler, can lead the way. The Nice Guys on Business is produced by Turnkey Podcast Productions. Now, here's your host, Doug Sandler. Hey, so welcome back, Nice Guy community. Guess what? We are here and it is a Friday. And guess what today is? Today is No Guest Friday. That is how every Friday is going to be. But I do not just have a guest here today. I actually have a co-host. So uh, you remember that guy? His name was Strickland Bonner that for every episode for the last maybe mm, four years, five years, he actually was introduced. But I think since episode like when did we st- when a three episode 200 <laughs> when did we st- no you were you were here a lot longer than that so welcome strickland to the nice guys on business podcast co-host partner and friend of mine thanks doug you know what's funny uh yeah. we've been using the same intro for a thousand episodes right <laughs> right that it had my name on it even though i haven't actually been on the show for the last mm, 700 or so <laughs> right um Although that's not really true. I was on the Tuesday, Thursday for a long time. But anyway, and then as soon as we get a new one that doesn't have my name on it, here I am back again. <laughs> so well, what are you going to do? Are you, are you going to change the intro and outro back? I don't know. We'll keep using the same one. I don't know. We'll okay. figure it out. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter. Nice guy community. Just know that, yes, we, um, we did stray a little bit, but we came back. You know, every once in a while, you'd try a project that just is not, uh, does not work. You know, how many times did Edison and tried to re, to, it tried to invent the light bulb? Over 2,000 times. How many times did the, the Germans try to bomb Pearl Harbor? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I say, just let him go. He's on a roll. Uh, oh, that's great. That's great. I don't As a think I fact, have any, I don't have any Steve O'Brien quotes from Animal House. I need, I need. I know. I think we, I think we mentioned that. So, so if you are here and you're listening and you kind of are thinking, hey, who is that other guy? Well, this is actually Strickland Bonner. He has been here for literally a thousand episodes, but he kind of plays a behind the scenes role on this portion of our show. So I wanted to reintroduce him officially to you, and then we'll explain the project that, that went horribly wrong. I think we should explain that project to the, the 35 that have made their way back here. Hopefully yeah. we didn't lose any of them, but we should probably explain what happened over the last seven years. I mean, 700 well, episodes. Well, and you know, I, I really, I haven't been gone really that long. I think it's only been about six months because we ended up doing, I don't know, about 60 episodes of the nice guys. Um, I don't know. Can, can we curse on here now, Doug? I, I don't know how, I don't, how clean I, don't, I, don't, I think so. As long as you, as long as we carry the, the explicit moniker and the explicit label, I think we can say any, say and do anything. You know what? Okay. It's our fucking show. We can do anything that we want. So there. Okay. Just, so so we decided to split ceiling. what was the Tuesday Thursday show from here about six months ago off into the nice guys fuckery and just do it separate and kind of keep our the clean channel with the interviews and then sort of the dirty channel so to speak where you have to uh, blue, punch in your channel. code the blue, blue channel <laughs> you know if it's like you gotta punch in the kids code right yeah, like when you yeah. turn the TV on you change yeah, parental, the channel parental, parental, parental controls guidance. exactly we have parental controls exactly and so <laughs> we decided we're like hey you know we get I don't know probably. 2,500, 3,000 downloads an episode of the nice guys on business. And we thought, let's see how many of those people will follow us to the, to the fuckery. And uh, from the looks of it, you guys were not paying much attention. <laughs> so uh, the 30 of you that came with us, we really, really appreciate it. Very but, much um, appreciated you. We decided that after six months, when we only still had the same 30 of you that, you know what? You guys can come back and listen over here. It's not right. Big this decision. is fine. So welcome back. Welcome back. Or maybe I should let you say that since that is actually how you've always introduced the show. So please continue. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Strickland Bonner. On the other side of the microphone, Mr. Doug Sandler. This is this is exciting, Strick. I think this is this this um, ushers in a new era for the nice guys on business. It um, it just goes to show you that you don't have to stick to your guns if some of the things that you are actually um, working on don't work out. And I don't want to call it a total collapse, but it was pretty much a, a pretty much a bomb, I would say. 
Yeah, it was a little rough. And then also, I think we definitely got to the point where we're, you know, we're, we're stretching for material a bit. So what we're going to try over here is the <laughs> Friday show. Well, the other thing is we, we, you're doing so many damn interviews. You, you just didn't need to do three a week. It's getting kind of ridiculous, right? You I know. Time for this shit. Mm-hmm. So we're going to come back here on Friday and we're going to try a couple things. Um, we are going to try. Oh, this is, wait um, a minute. Let me write this down. I think this is important. <laughs> I know. There's a plan. <laughs> this is, I actually this is gonna be a, a, This is going to be important. I, I know I should be writing. You know what? I don't have a pen. I'll remember this. <laughs> I'll remember. I hope I remember it. Go ahead. Well, what are we doing? A, it's a very loose plan anyway. I'm okay. thinking, you know, we're we're going to still be ourselves, right? But what we'll do is- Thank we God, because will... everybody else is taken. <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. It... Oscar Wilde. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Um, Thank you. So we are going to, uh, on Friday, uh, we're still going to be ourselves, but we are going to try and lean a bit back into the, the business advice, even though we're still going to take voicemail. So if you all leave us enough voicemails at 4242 DJ Doug, you can keep us from getting into business advice because there'll be so many voicemails. Um, but if there aren't enough voicemails, we are going to get back into business more. And we're actually going to maybe do a recap of the Monday and Wednesday interview episodes um, if we get around to that. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. If we get around to it, does that well, mean if you actually, wait, are we doing two episodes, two interviews a week? And this, and this are, yeah. are kind of our loosely tied bit. So you've exactly. just committed me to two episodes of inter- two interviews a week rather than yeah. one. I thought originally we had the plan of doing maybe one interview on Mondays and then coming back on Fridays and doing this one, but it seems oh, like I'm, I'm still good. But, but it's no, we okay. Don't have to. It's so okay. we will, we will do a recap of interview slash interviews on Friday and, and get into some business advice too. And that then means I need to fun. know, I got to, we have to remember <laughs> that that's that going to be, ch- gonna be challenging. Notes. Like you'll have to tell me, and then you'll have to kind of remind me what I talked about during the interview. Cause some of these interviews I've done months ago. I know it's okay. We'll just, look that at was the, the problem notes. that we had to begin with. The reason why we had to separate it out into a second show, because we were, we felt really not quite genuine not only introducing the episode or introducing the episode and then kind of saying, looking at the notes and going back and saying, <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this person. Unfortunately, what happens is, and I try my hardest to remember the, the interviews and I really do engage when I have the interviews, but then when the interview is over, uh, mm-hmm. you know what we could do? I think uh, we might've tried this before. We, we introduced the episodes that the interviews that I had just done for, Hey, this is what's going to be happening in the upcoming weeks. You're really going to enjoy this episode. My feeling though, is that people like instant gratification. They're going to have a hard time saying, like I talked to a guy named his name is uh, Chick, uh, Chris Chickenelli, and oh, Chris gosh, is yeah. the, uh, the, the CEO of pure romance, which is a direct sales business of, um, I want to call them like uh, like uh, relationship enhancement products. I think that's what he called them. <laughs> you could you could say that. Yeah, I call them vibrators, and that was fine sex because toys. I uh, sex toys, right? And I don't mind them being called sex toys. I think it gives the wrong connotation to the world out there when you say sex toys. You're thinking like seedy adult bookstore and that kind of stuff. And while that may be stuff that they carry, I think what this really does is they are relationship enhancers. I mean, I don't know about you, but. How many toys are in that that bedside table that might be in your home right now, Strickland? I just mean on your side of the table. Of the well, I, I, I plead the fifth on that. I, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to discuss. I'm not going to get quite that personal on the show. Well, Thank there's a few. Asking, there's a few in my home, and I'd be happy mm-hmm. to find out whose they are. <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> so anyway, so Chris was on the show, and I did an interview with him this week, but that probably won't be airing for the next couple of weeks, and I'm mm-hmm. okay with teasing the episode. Um, it, it's so funny as I'm reading his intro, I'm thinking how many words have I used in this intro that are kind of like, uh, like have double meanings that are actually going to mean the something double else. Entendre, yeah, yeah. Double entendre, uh, uh, meaning because, um, uh, you know, because of the business that he's in anyway, great, great interview. This guy took the, the, um, his business, his mom's business. He took it from $3 million a year, which is a big business on its own, but mm-hmm. his business does over $200 million a year. They have 26,000 uh, independent agents that rep or independent consultants that rep his products. Just a, a what a great interview. Great guy. He invited me on his podcast. He has a podcast too called, um, I think it's called hit H I T. And mm-hmm. he talks to entrepreneurs about how they build their business. And I'm, but all of that tease, let's say all of that, that I just did. Now I'm not looking at any notes. I'm using that because I'm saying those words because that interview is still fresh in my mind. Right. But if I, but if I had to go back and, and talk about an interview that I did maybe two or three weeks ago, I'd have a tough time. So what, what would you think would be a good idea? Yeah. 
it's a plan. It's a loose plan. It's still, you know, we're, we're, it's, it's open for interpretation. Okay. And I just really want to know how Chris felt about taking over a sex toy business from his mom. That's kind of weird, <laughs> isn't it? Well, I, you know, when you think about it though, it really is not a business of products. It's a business of people. And we do mm. spend a lot of time talking about that. And I, I was really more inclined to talk about how does it, how does it feel to be a male a man in a in a very female dominated business like his because the majority of the of the customers that are customers to that business the majority of the consultants that are in this in that business are uh, are women and so mm-hmm. we talked a little bit about that and he he gave some great business advice i mean he really is a guy totally in in tune to trying to help entrepreneurs get to that that next step whether it's somebody that is in direct sales that's just trying to make a couple thousand dollars extra a month or a year to pay for holiday gifts or just to pay for daycare or something like that for their family or somebody that wants to take it to the next level and does it a full-time business i thought it was a a really really cool really cool interview so you'll mm-hmm. you'll enjoy that one chris chickenelli i think that's how you pronounce his last name yeah Very cool. Okay. So we've teased that and who knows when it's going to air, but you know, we may be right. Maybe we won't commit to talking about the uh, previous day or the previous week's interviews and we might get to, we might not. Who knows? I I want to talk about another one that I did though, because I just did this one today. Is it okay if I talk about this one too? (laughs) Sure. Let's tease another one. We'll come up for a couple of weeks. Well, you know what we should do? Hold on. Do you want to, now here's, here's the way that we did it over at the NGF, the nice guys fuckery episodes, nice guy communities. You're listening to this. We used to play, uh, voicemails pretty much every episode, or if we forgot to play them or we didn't get to them till later, we hold them to the next, to the next episode. We had two a Mm -hmm. week. We could play a couple of those episodes today, or we could play all of them today. Most of them are from Jared. So you can actually string them together as one long, (laughs) as one long voicemail. Well, when we were doing two episodes a week with the, with the fuckery episodes, I think if we didn't get to it on Tuesday, we would get to it on Thursday, but I wouldn't ever want to wait a week. So no, if we're right. only doing Friday, I think we got to do them all. <clears throat> all right. So let's do this then. Why don't we play a few? Do we have any other, do we have anything else that we want to, that we want to talk about or want to set up or establish as kind of things that we're going to, that we're going to do? Hey, hey, let me ask you a question before we get to the voicemails. I, I know you don't get a chance to listen to, you're doing, we, we have dozens of clients right now and I know you're busy editing and doing production for all the other clients. Did you happen to listen to part of the episode that was like the 10 tools that I've used to grow my business? Did you listen oh, to any yeah. of those? Sure. Yeah, that was interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So as you were, as you were listening to this, just know that there are tools that you can use in order to grow your business. Uh, we use this tool that we're about to share with you, voicemail, Google voicemail. <laughs> it's great. I love it. And uh, we've gotten a lot of engagement through, um, through our voicemail system and specifically that we have uh, one person that loves to call. His name is Jared. And you'll hear from Jared over the course of the weeks. You'll get to know Jared. There are um, several cast of characters, Jenny Bellinger, Sean Carpenter, uh, Tim Hill, uh, who else am I missing? That's uh, regular leavers of messages. Um, uh, we'll get uh, Ryan Ryan uh, Bocross. Bocross. We'll leave messages for us every once in a while. But you'll get to hear. And if you want to leave a message, all you need to do is call the phone number forty two forty two DJ Doug. I don't really know the numbers, so you're gonna have to just call forty two forty two DJ Doug. It is my um, it's my Google voicemail line. It uh, it no longer rings to my phone. It just goes directly to voicemail. So. Uh, oh, there nice. will be no, there will be no mistake of me picking this up. Uh, you can send a text message, but I don't know that I get them. So voicemail is the best way to uh, to go. So I think we have two players in today's game. Jared is one. Did Jenny leave a, a message too? Jenny 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 Bellinger left a message also. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to play those now, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll talk about maybe one of the other episodes, or maybe we'll get into some other conversation about some other stuff that's coming up for us. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Here, well, let's get Jenny up first. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Doug. It's Jenny. So two things. I'm listening to Tuesday's show. Um, and the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is you damn well better keep doing the show. <laughs> because Uh-oh. I'm one of the people that strip flew halfway across the country to come see. True. Me. Good point. And I don't think you guys have flown halfway across the country for any of your NGOB people. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Um Second thing, you brought up something about having an L.A. man card, um, and I'm pretty yeah. sure, and, and you guys can you can double-check the rules on this for me, 
But I think that an L.A. man card is only one half of a Texas man card because, <laughs> well, everything's bigger in Texas, or at least that's what I hear. Oh. So, well, bye, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And so uh, a couple things I pull away from that. Number one, the uh, voicemail is 100% directed towards me, although the reference, the silent reference is to you, Strickland, because you live in Texas and I live in LA. And mm-hmm. um, uh, I don't know if you know this, because I don't think we've had this conversation since last uh, last week, but December 4th um, was my birthday. And I, I, I thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. You did do that. Uh, of but part of part of my man card may have been revoked because I, I did get a purse, a man purse for my birthday. Oh, from- my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'll tell you, I'm the kind of guy. And again, nice guy community. Do you guys, uh, the guys, specifically the guys that are in our community, don't you have problem with shit in your pockets? Whether it's whether it's a phone or your wallet or your keys or a water bottle or and not a water bottle in your pocket, but just holding on to it and glasses, all of this stuff. I I just don't have. I don't want to keep them in my pockets. So I've been kind of jonesing for a a, a male purse, a purse, and East Coast not quite as acceptable. But there are t- plenty of dudes that are out here that have that have purses. So I'm like, I'm doing it. So. JJ got me uh, a um, a a coach, very soft, supple leather coach. A <laughs> yeah, coach, bag. <laughs> not just a fucking bag, but a coach yeah. bag. I went full boat, full boat with this. If we had the ability to put um, a custom uh, cover art on this, we, where is um, where is Muhammad? <laughs> where we need Muhammad him? Muhammad Shakiba, where are you? Yeah, Muhammad Shakiba used to do cu- custom cover art for us many, many moon ago. But uh, yes, it is a. I'd say, hold on, I got it. Oops, got in my hand. <laughs> Something fell out of it. I, the kitchen sink, I believe. It's about mm-hmm. it's about eighteen, maybe fourteen inches by twelve inches, and it, so it's a rectangular, soft 14 leather. Fourteen by twelve. That's yeah. like the, practically the size of a small laptop. Yeah, it's it is. That's exactly right. My iPad Pro could fit if I had one. Would fit nicely in here. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, have, have you seen my my phone case? Uh, no. I oh, wait. Is it the kind that has the credit cards and everything else in it? Exactly. You see, yeah. I got ter- I, I got ter- tired of carrying a wallet around, and and I you know JJ likes her flip phone. I right. still have a flip phone. Well, I mean like a flip case, right? So right. basically, it's it holds like four credit cards and my driver's license, and that's all I need. And I got my phone with me everywhere, so I don't forget my wallet. And I don't have a lot of other shit that I carry around in my pocket. That's all I need. Well, I uh, I carry keys. I carry my glasses. I carry my phone. I carry my wallet. And um, it's too much. It's just too much. And mm-hmm. I, I don't. And, I you know, every once in a while, I like to have. I When I sit, when you go to sit in your car, what do you do with your wallet and your phone? Do they stay in your pockets? No. My phone Where'd, sits out like right in the center console. I put okay, my phone so they, in the center console. Okay, so they come out of your pocket. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, I don't want to carry that. And when I go to a restaurant and I'm sitting, I used to have the um, the iPhone uh, 8 Plus, which is mm-hmm. like as big as a football field pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, But I, I do have the 11 Pro now. And, uh, that and it it's is smaller slightly, than the it's 8 smaller. Plus? Yeah, it's smaller. Bigger screen, but smaller footprint from the phone. Okay. It's, it's really quite incredible. And, it, and mm. the battery is ridiculously great. And the, the quality of the, the camera is amazing too. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll have a whole iPhone conversation later on. But no, I had all of these things in my... No, we won't. I'm sure we will. <laughs> we will have this debate on this channel as well. So stay tuned for that. There's plenty of that fun that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So um, anyway, all of that being said, uh, I, I did get immersed. So when, when you're in the car, you don't take yeah. your phone out and leave it in the center console so you can like check it at a stoplight or something? Not if I have my MERS. <laughs> it's actually a safety feature for me. I just keep everything in the MERS. Okay. Fair Maybe enough. I, I guess will I'll be seeing that in LA. Now, Jenny Ballinger pointed out we just a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it's two, three months ago now, did a little nice guys fuckery meetup in uh, St. Louis. And uh, that was fun. And we flew out just to see a handful of our, our dedicated Funkin' fans. And, you know, we are going to be in L.A. in a couple of weeks. And I know yeah. we tried this last time we were in L.A. Okay. And it didn't really work, but we could mm-hmm. try again. Okay. We, what we would you like to try? We could get a meetup. We could do a meetup. 
Oh, we can okay. let our listeners know we've got a we've got a couple of weeks. We're going to be in LA with the whole turnkey team the first weekend in um, January. We could set a specific time and a place where if there are any Funkin' fans in the LA area or who happen to be in the LA area and they want to come and meet us in person, they could come meet us in person. I think we tried this once and it was only Brad. <laughs> Brad we did. was, Brad we was did. the only guy. And the and- crazy ass thing about Brad, and I still don't know if this was actually the truth or not, but yeah. Brad said he he hadn't listened to the episode or episodes that we talked about it. So he didn't know we were going to be there, but that he listened to the show and he recognized our voices as he just happened to be <laughs> in the bar. Not, I did not, I don't believe him. I think, I think we, he was just completely pulling our leg. I think that his name might've been Brad and that was the end of the truth. Everything else that came out of, <laughs> everything else that came out of his mouth was, was not correct. Not correct. Probably true. I would like to try again though. I mean, we're going to be there. Right. And we're going to be like eating at some point with the team. So why don't we just see, maybe, maybe some Funkin' fan will do something if we mention it for a couple of weeks, maybe somebody will take action. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm game. I will, I will, I will do it. I will do it for you, Strickland, but I won't do it. See, the problem with it is I just set myself (laughs) up for, I set myself up for failure here because we're going to do it. We're going to set it. We're going to get excited about it. We're going to go there and no one's going to be there. It's just. It's people don't like to do anything. You've so seen when, this. You've seen this in action before. When we did it last time, mm-hmm. and nobody showed up except Brad. Yeah. D- did we have fun? Yeah, we had fun. Isn't that what's important? It is. It is what's important. Then okay. why did we? Why did we start this other show? Then I mean, why did? Why did we care? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. It's fine. It's fine. We can do it. We we will have to come up with where we're going to be. When we're going to be there, so we already know the date that we're that we are going to be in LA is going to be January. Hold on a second, January fourth, which is a Saturday, mm-hmm. and and January fifth, which is a which is a Sunday. We're going to be in LA, right by LAX, uh, El Segundo. That's the town that I live in. And uh, if you are interested in participating in a Funkin' Fan meetup. That's for the har- hardcore fans. A nice guy community meetup would be for the slightly less hardcore fans, but the ones that still want to visit us, but just want to keep a distance, maybe see us through a maybe a, 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 a fence or something like that instead. A chain link fence. That is fine. We'll be in El Segundo on the 4th and 5th of uh, of January. Just You can call me, 4242 DJ Doug. Just leave me a message. Say, hey, I'm interested in the meetup. I'm going to be in town. Uh, where can we meet you? And well, it, we're going to set the place oh, and the time, we're and we'll tell okay. them to meet us. Okay. Yeah, we, okay. we don't want to just like have random people call and say, hey, I, I live near here. Why don't you guys come over? I think we need to set the time. And the well, place. you know, and it would be the, nice if people would let us know they're coming, but they don't have to just show up. It's going to be like this a is the it's restaurant. the place where I live. So I, I really do think that there's there's a couple of really I think the first time that you came here, we went to uh, a tiki bar. I forget the name of the place. The purple. Wait a minute, oh, purple. that place was what the fun. hell was the name of it? I went, That's I where I met the, Marjorie for the first I, time. Right. I called it the other day the purple onion, but it's not it the purple was onion. So right, much purple. fun. That place is Hold a dive. On. I'm going to find the name of it while you're doing the next uh, the next. And that one's actually in. In El Segundo, it's not like Manhattan Beach area. I don't remember where it was. Uh, that is El Segundo. Purple Bar in El Segundo. It's like the Tiki Lounge or the Tiki Purple Orchid. That's what it's called. <laughs> the Purple Orchid. There's a heavy. And it was not. Heavy, it was not that. Huh? It was not very crowded when we went. You're, no, you're, it, yeah, it's, this is your great internet connection again, Doug. I know it's okay. It is not um, usually, you, well, JJ's downstream and video downstairs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love the um, uh, I love the description of the the purple orchid. There's a heavy industrial feel to the city, but the purple orchid, a divey tiki bar just around the corner from Main Street, brings a lighter torch to the city. Pass what? by regulars smoking under the neon purple sign and enter a tropical mecca of fruity drinks and kitschy decor. That is that is definitely the purple orchid. We should meet there. That's a totally a cool place to meet. Totally. It's absolutely the place we got to meet. I agree. We probably can't do it though on uh, on Saturday night because that really is a night that, that uh, El Segundo beca- comes alive. Any other would, night of the week, it probably would It actually would gets be crowded. Okay. Well, are they open during the day? Do we want to do this in the afternoon? Because I mean, oh, so we're where are we going to do- This is good. This is good. Sure, yeah. I mean, wh- where would we do it in the evening on a Saturday night where it wouldn't be crowded anyway, right? That's Any true. Any place That's we go true. is going to be crowded. All right. So the purple orchid it is. Let's, uh, let's, let's set that, let's set that as the place 
Well, and because I don't think they have food there, if I remember correctly, do they? Uh, no, but there is a the pint and uh, the pint and what's it called? The pint and pie, pie and pint, or slice and pint, or <laughs> slice and pint is. Wait a minute, let me just double check that. <laughs> slice and pint, El Segundo. Uh, yes, the slice and pint is right around the corner from uh, the Purple Orchid. And people that wanted to get uh, a slice of pizza and then meet us over there after they had a nice little meal could do that. And there's also plenty of other places to get to get food. But uh, let's let's plan on meeting on Saturday night. Uh, let's call it at uh, you want to do 8 p.m. Well, didn't we just finish saying Saturday evening it's going to be crowded anywhere, so we oh. should do earlier Saturday? That was the whole okay. point, right? Oh, that's fine. I, I didn't realize that day drinking was the way that you wanted to uh, to go, though. I wasn't 100% sure. Well, you know, sure I, it's not not necessarily like about encouraging day drinking, but I think logistically, of course, you know what? If nobody's going to fucking show up anyway, it doesn't matter, right? I um, guess that's <clears> true. I don't know. I was thinking if we did like the tiki bar in the afternoon, like four or five, then we could go somewhere to eat afterwards. Oh, okay. Well, we could do that. You know, it's interesting uh, when you look at um, either TripAdvisor or or Yelp or one of the places. They usually give you like the top ten of you know nightlife or the top ten restaurants to eat. You know, have mm-hmm. you ever seen that? If you, if oh, you sure, ever go yeah. there, so mm-hmm. they only have actually four places for nightlife in El Segundo. In El Segundo, so, all of El Segundo. So it them. is number three of four. So that's pretty good. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll come up with a time, but just know if you are if you are in the LA area, the Purple Orchid is going to be the place that we're going to meet. We just don't have the time yet. So just stay tuned for more details. We'll provide them as uh, details become available to us. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So, you know, we got like 27 more voicemails. We okay. Let's go. Them. Keep going. Go ahead. All right. Hey, Doug and Strickland. It's Sean Carpenter, Columbus, what? Ohio. Hey, listening to Thursday's show, fresh off the presses, uh, and Strick, I got a bone to pick with you, buddy. Uh-oh. I'm a beer nerd, a craft beer fan, and you're saying, why do we need 50 flavors of beer? It's fucking beer. <laughs> Dude, you just took 10 minutes to talk about fucking different kinds of scotches and whiskeys and <laughs> rums and Good the point. distillery tour you went on, yeah. which was a dude walking you through his garage. Showing yeah, his <laughs> pretty much. True. Pretty so much was. It, it's about choices, man. That's what the world wants these days is choices. Whether it's gummy flavors or cookies at a fucking dispensary, wow. beer flavors, there's different styles. It's, have you been to a Heated. coffee shop lately? Jesus Christ. Walk into Starbucks <laughs> and look at how many different fucking flavors there are. Wow. All right, man. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Sean. Sean, Sean Carpenter, tell us how you really feel. Oh my God! You know, any other subject, Sean is, uh, Sean is like, "Hey, I just want to make sure you're building relationships, solving problems, and having fun." True. I mean, that's where Sean is going. I have never heard Sean drop the f bomb quite so many times in my entire life, and it's the first time we've had him on this channel too in in many years. I know that's funny. Oh my god! And it gosh, is funny because, like, best. when we see posts on Facebook uh, yeah. from him, he often is making posts about about beer, about lots of different craft beers. Yeah. And yeah. what I say to that, really, you know, shall look to each his own. And and you're right. I'm just giving the whole craft beer thing a whole lot of shit, just because, like, I I don't need 27 kinds of beer, although I do enjoy. 27 different kinds of scotch and to each his own. And I know Doug, you enjoy your wine and um, yeah, the kind of wine I like is like cold, red. you know, that's all I <laughs> need. Or, you know, whatever. I, right. I'll have right. A red, and so I'll have I a totally, shh, I totally respect uh, guys like Sean who really like their beer, really appreciate many different kinds and types uh, of, of beers, but Hey, just not me, but thanks okay. Sean. We appreciate you telling us how you feel. All good. <laughs> he, was, he was all about that. Okay. All, about All right. Cool. So now we've had Jenny and Sean have gotten out of the, cleared the way for for uh, for Jared's messages, right? Mm. <laughs> I believe the rest are Jared's, if I know if I remember correctly. Yeah. And and by the way, we, like Sean, when when you, I'm not much of a like go out and pay for coffee drinker kind of guy, right? Like if I do walk into a Starbucks, I'm like I'm like coffee. And like, uh, what kind would you like? So would you, would you like the Americano or the Mocato or would you like the 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 Budapest or the I don't know, Coffee. I want fucking coffee. Just give me fucking coffee. Yeah. But you sure they can't do that. And then when they can't do that, I walk next door to 7 Eleven and pay half as much. <laughs> yeah. I am totally with you on that, John. Yeah. Yeah. It's something about something about Starbucks coffee. There is a place in in uh in LA called Phil's Coffee. Now I have not mm. had a chance to 
to sample any of Phil's coffee, but I think that it probably is at a at a better it's probably a higher quality type of coffee or maybe a better flavor coffee for me. But mm-hmm. I do enjoy my uh, my bulletproof ho- coffee. I've been making it every morning for months now, and I've completely eliminated the cream in my coffee by adding uh, coconut oil um, and uh, and a little bit of butter, and it's mm-hmm. uh, and then whipping it up in the uh, in the bullet blender. Loving it, loving my my bulletproof coffee. All right, that's my commercial for coffee. Okay, let's get to Jared. We have five voicemails from Jared. Okay, here we go. Hey, Doug. Hey, Strix. Jared here. So it's Tuesday, about 15 minutes in, and you guys just finished talking about the people trying to get into the Facebook group, <laughs> and fuck, I just forgot his name already. <laughs> Anyways, the guy that has is in 600 groups and nothing oh, on his yeah. profile. Yeah. Dude, it's got to be a fucking bot, and if he's not, he's not interesting enough to be in our, our crew anyway, so fuck him. This is uh, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say was you guys were talking about downloads and you think we lost, you know, two or three people with the length of the episodes last week. And all I got to say is, you know, I was only on part of this show, so I listened to all two hours of it. But there were a few people that were on the whole thing, so it may not show a play count. You know, they may have downloaded and skipped it because they were on the entire call, so no need for them to listen to it. That might be why your numbers are off. So don't panic yet. You can panic after you see this week's numbers and you've dropped 10 people and you're down to 15 downloads. Then maybe worry or 25, whatever the hell it is. I can't do math anyway. So the only thing I can do (laughs) is give you guys a hard time. Doing that very well too. Keep it up. And I promise I will call you again and harass you some more. Maybe still today. Who knows? And he does keep that promise four more times. So here we go. Let's go on with it. The next one. Unless you got a comment okay. about that. <laughs> All right, let's just move right on. Hey, Doug. Hey, no, here, here. no, no. Again, no. voicemail number two for Tuesday. <laughs> two for Tuesday. All right. So I didn't even play any more of the episode, and I remembered that I forgot to include this in my last message. Strickland, Doug was talking about how is there a trap door in the back of your phone so that, you know, you can feed the hamsters. <laughs> so he is talking about your attack coming from the guy who spends thousands of dollars on a phone and still has trouble with the internet with his, what, $4,000 computer, mm-hmm. can't get it to connect, mm-hmm. always having issues. Dude, I think your gerbils are doing just great compared mm-hmm. to whatever the hell's in his. I think his might be cockroaches. Maybe that's what oh. they put in the Apple devices. That's why they can't uh, can't do anything. Mm. All right. Anyways, I uh, just had to throw it out there. Love you guys. Talk with you soon. They are they Come. are trained albino mice. Just so you know, there's <laughs> nothing different than that. Come on, come on. And and they uh, they they run out of batteries very quickly too. So mm. okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Hey, Doug. Hey, Trix. Jared here. So it's Thursday. Voicemail number two. And I hang out. I play. And I remember. Uh, uh, down. Only uh, still only having 30. Yeah. Something to keep in mind is where do you guys even advertise this podcast? Where do you even talk about? It? It's not like you start off the nice guys and mention these episodes because this whole reason you broke it off because you didn't want them associated. So you can't expect it to grow because you know we're in- get the time to come over and listen, but yeah, it's about where we draw the line. Just throwing that out there for you. Love you guys. Yeah, I mean, he is he is right. I mean, we really did not do a great job of promoting it, but we were just thinking, I, I guess, maybe just uh, foolishly thinking that those that wanted to listen, and, and it, maybe this is what happened, those that wanted to listen followed us over, and we didn't promote it anymore, so... So shit happens. I mean, let's move on. I mean, let's take the let's take the um uh take um uh Dominic Rinaldi's uh, approach to this and let's just shut up and just either let, we made a decision. We decided that we were getting out of the out of the NGF shows. So we are back over here on this channel and we're going to have a good time with this. And if you're listening over here and you're not enjoying th- this, then then maybe the Monday and Wednesday episodes would be better for you. You'll just know you'll be you'll be able to skip Fridays and that is quite cool and we are comfortable with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, skipping Fridays, <clears throat> but it's exactly. nothing wrong with skipping Monday and Wednesday and just listening <laughs> to Friday too, for at least those uh, 30 people that were our, our dedicated fuckery fans. We I am it. curious what the numbers are going to be like now that we have done this. Mm-hmm. It'd be interesting. Okay, here we go. Uh, number four. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, so 
actually already part of the episode, but when I first loaded it up, I'm like, holy crap, almost an hour episode. And these guys thought they couldn't do it. Anyways, I'm listening to the episode and you get Oh boy. He's having a hard time. Well, with this. This. Might have to dump this one. Should you guys do? Yeah, I mean, I just want to put it there for you that back when you split it, I said you guys shouldn't do it. But hey, <laughs> yeah, okay, we heard the imp- we heard the important thing. You guys, right, right. Oh, shit, I just <laughs> totally forgot what I was going to say to you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure it'll come back to me, and I'll call back. Anyways, <laughs> love you guys, love the show. Does. I'll listen either place. I'm all thanks for listening, and then maybe the other thought will come to me. Don't hold your breath on it though. I love I love the fact that Jared wanted to remind us uh, that he never wanted us to go to the other channel to begin with. Yeah, true. Good point. He was right. Uh, he was right. Yeah, okay, right. we got one more from Jared. Uh, okay. Hey, Doug. Hey, Strick. Jared here. So it is Tuesday. I've been waiting and waiting for my episode, and I get an eight-minute episode oh. telling me to shut up and leave uh, us alone. We're uh, leaving. Oh, all alone, boy. It's not like that, Jared. Not nah, like sorry. That. I already subscribed to the night nice again. <laughs> oh, wait. And I, I'm waiting right. for my Friday episode. Just saying. Just putting that out there. I'm waiting for it. So I hope you knock it out of the park this week because I know where you get. No, I don't. I have no idea where you guys live. So that's <laughs> Anyways, can't wait to hear Friday, see what's going on. And Strickland, you mentioned you have like 15 pens. I mean, I still, I still yep. haven't got mine. So. Strickland? Strickland. Did mine get lost in the mail? Do you not love me anymore? Mm. What happened, Strick? I don't Strick? even remember what, if I told what you happened? this is Jared. I don't want you guys to be confused. <laughs> I'm so I'm so discombobulated because the nice guy's fuckery is gone. Oh, boy. Well, kind of gone. It's moving. I feel like I did when I was a kid when my parents left me in the store and went around the other <laughs> aisle and kept, kept hiding from me and <laughs> laughing at me crying because I couldn't find them. So that's how oh, I'm oh man. Oh, damn. I can't, can't wait for Friday. Damn. What Damn. what I what I got out of that which was so funny cuz I did I did preview that message because I mm. I saw the previous message that he left and I knew that there was a lot of um skipping like MP3 skips cuz there was a lot of mm. dashes in the message. I'm like, "Ah, oh, I better just listen to the other ones too." I thought there was enough in that previous message to let go. But what I got from this message and I laughed the first time I heard it was when he said, Oh, I went back and I subscribed to it, which means that he unsubscribed. Right. Yeah, he had unsubscribed to it. Yeah, Jared, it. shame on you. So we lost a listener, but we regained him again. So we have one more download. So make that 2,501 that we have. Now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I love it. So love uh, it. anyway, I thought that that was, I thought that that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. Hmm. Anyhow. So uh, did he leave any other messages from him? No, that's it. That's everything. Okay. That was plenty. Thanks, well, we ha- so we can go in a couple different directions. I can tell you my my uh, my Maryland State tax uh, comptroller of Maryland story or my IRS story, or I could leave it until next week. That'll hold because you know the IRS never forgets. So it will hold right. next week. That's if for you, goddamn if, sure. Yeah, if if you want me to, I wasn't sure exactly how long you wanted to go with uh, with the Friday episodes. You know, I think they should go as long as they need to go, but I think the, <laughs> but IRS, no the IRS can wait, but no longer. Right? But but no longer. Okay. Well, why don't we uh, why don't we wrap it up here? I want to before we before we head out, I want to say special thanks. Uh, I don't know if Jeffrey Gittimer listens to the show anymore, but Jeffrey and I have been buddies for the last couple of years. He is the uh, sales sales guru that's down in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. He sent me a copy of his latest book, The Ultimate Guide uh, to Get to The Ultimate Guide to Productivity, Procrastination, and Pro- Profitability. It's called the Get Shit Done book. <laughs> so uh, mm. I appreciate Jeffrey sending me a copy. I got. I was a little bit miffed that he didn't sign it. He signed every other copy. Oh, yes, he did. I just turned to the page. He did sign it. Never mind. Just, just, oh, it, all it says is, Doug. <laughs> That's all it says. <laughs> and then he signed his name. So thank you, Jeffrey, for uh, not only signing a copy of it, but for sending me the book. I didn't even ask for it. And I just got it in the mail. I'm not even exactly sure how he got my address, but he somehow found me. So. Love that. Stop, I love that. Line. So thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, it is available on Amazon or wherever you get your awesome sales uh, training books. So thank you, Jeffrey, for uh, for putting that in the mail to me. Anyhow, all right, why don't we head out of here? We'll come back on. Uh, do, we don't, do you have it? Now, hold on a second. Can you help me for just a quick moment? Because I need a little of instruction. I mm-hmm. don't really ever know what episodes are coming out and when they're coming out. Is there mm-hmm. a way that we can <clears throat> tease the next 
uh, m- Monday or Wednesday show of the Nice Guys on Business. Do you know who they would be? I can take a look. Let's look it up in the old uh, in the old book here. <clears throat> is that, <clears throat> nice you actually have? Is it like a? Is it like an Ebenezer Scrooge book, like a ledger book, like where they a ledger? What is it exactly? Uh, what is this magical book that I don't know of? No, it's it's called it's called OneNote. You know it. You just don't pay any attention oh, to it. Oh no, that's a spreadsheet, right? Oh no, no, no. That's the uh, no, no. OneNote is is the electronic digital notebook. Oh well, then I do know OneNote. Is that the purple one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly the purple one, right? Okay, so everything Except is color coded, know... right? Everything's color coded. Oh well, yeah, it's all blue, right? <laughs> Everything's um, in blue. So I don't know. I couldn't tell you which is going to be next. I mean. Chris Ciccinelli was actually the next one you recorded. We could make that the Monday episode. Well, hold on a sec. Did we already do... So today, was it Jack Plotkin? Did did Jack's episode actually air today? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would okay, be two yeah. days ago. Wednesdays was Jack Plotkin. Okay. Well, yeah. If you want to... I mean, geez, that would be awesome. I was given some great information about uh, about Chris Ciccinelli. And if you want to play that on Monday, I know Jenny Bellinger would be happy about... Two thirds in, into the episode, I gave her maybe it was three quarters in. I gave her a uh, I gave her a, a shout out on the Real show. Real good shout out, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then Adam Brewer, Molly Mandelberg, yeah. We got a whole bunch of really good interviews. We got now we have like three weeks backed up. This is perfect. This is right where I want to be. I don't like mm-hmm. it when you call me and say, "Hey, Doug, we uh we don't have any more episodes, any more interviews lined up. Uh, you got you have any on the schedule?" I'm like. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> that hadn't happened in a long time. I, yeah. It had been a really long time. I got so yeah. ahead of the game and so excited to get ahead of the game, but now I'm finally in, back in a good good place. I don't. You're not pressuring me for the for the interviews. And if we're doing two a week, we have at least three weeks left, and I have two tomorrow, and I have another couple next week. So I'm feeling I'm feeling good. So yeah, let's play Chris Chickenelli on uh, on Monday. He mm-hmm. is the uh, the CEO of uh, Pure Romance Direct Sales Organization. So let's do that. Cool. Okay. I love All right. It. Let's, like let's, uh, let's head out of here. We'll see you guys again on, uh, on Monday. Thanks for hanging out with us one more time. Steve O'Brien, go ahead and take us out of here. For the nice guys on business, I'm Steve O'Brien. Thanks for listening. Bartender, Doug here is going to have a Cosmo and Strickland is going to have a fireball on the rocks. Not the little glass. Yeah, the big one, the 24-ouncer. Oh, and they'd both like a little umbrella. Just give me the bottle and Charge them as much as you can.